everyone, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa and I am here with a haul follow-up video. This video happens to be a follow-up to an estate auction that I went to um, back, well I think I went to the auction at the end of May, although I didn't actually get the video up until the start of June. And um, I did well with this, uh, with this auction. I spent a total of $68.20 at the auction. And since that time, I've made $212.96 on the items that have sold. Now that is gross sales, so that doesn't include fees that I paid. Um, the good news is most of these were Etsy items where the fees are lower, but a few of them were Amazon items, so the fees are a little bit higher there. Um, but I did notice something when I went back to make this video, and um, I noticed a couple of things. The first thing I noticed is that um, while it's good to trust your gut and go with your instincts, um, sometimes those instincts can be wrong. And um, so it's worth taking another look at things um, when you're at an auction and also after you've gotten your stuff home from the auction. When I was going through and making this follow-up video, I mean, I used clips from the original video to do it, and um, two of the things that I sold were things that I didn't even think I was going to keep. Um, the one was an American flag, which I sold on Etsy for forty dollars. And in the in the video, you'll see it. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's not worth anything. Um, so that goes to show what I know. And then the other thing was a, a clipboard. I mean, I think that sold for like fifteen or sixteen dollars or something like that. But still, um, that's money. And I was like, ah, I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff. And then when I looked at it again, I was like, hmm, maybe I'll sell it. Um, so. You know, it's worth taking another look at things when you're out at a sale or at a store and um, you never know. You know, you might be passing up something valuable. So, uh, so you know, pay attention and um, take a chance on things, especially if the price is right, which is what is great about uh, auctions. So there are a lot of things here that I picked up because um, they were in, you know, a lot with other stuff and I maybe paid a dollar or two for the whole lot and, um, and did pretty nicely. But the other thing I noticed when I was going back and making this video um, is that there are a lot of things that, well, there are a few things that I just got listed. Um, this is what, this is October now that I'm making this video. And um, I bought this stuff back the end of May, beginning of June. Um, and so I've just gotten around to listing some of these things. But worse than that, there are things that I bought at this auction, which I know I have sitting downstairs in my pile of stuff to list that I haven't gotten around to listing yet. So, you know, you can't sell things if you don't list them. Uh, so, I mean, we all fall behind and especially over the summer, you know, when there's at least around here, there's more stuff to buy. Um, I'm kind of overwhelmed with inventory and then come winter, um, I will be playing catch up. But uh, I definitely have some catching up to do because I have some good stuff down there that I haven't even listed yet. And um, so uh, so there will definitely be more money to make from this auction. Um, there's stuff listed right now that hasn't sold yet and probably will. Um, but plus there's, uh, there's stuff that I haven't even listed yet. So anyway, I will go ahead and show you what I have actually sold uh, from the auction. Now, um, this video I'm not going to necessarily, in fact I won't include the purchase price because a lot of these items were not things I bought individually. Um, it'll be something like I bought in a lot. Like the first thing I'll show you is um, these two squirrel figurines that I got in a lot with a bunch of other figurines and stuff. And I think the lot was like a dollar. but. Um, there's obviously other stuff in there that I'm selling, so it didn't really cost me a dollar for the squirrels. So um, just things like that. So uh, so I don't have purchase prices in there. Um, the other thing is the way I did this haul, the way I filmed the video, I kind of didn't necessarily show everything individually. Um, so where I can, I will show you uh, a picture that I actually took of the item. Um, when I post it on Etsy or Amazon or whatever. Um, so you can actually see what I'm talking about because um, yeah, it's sort of a mess. And if you want to see the original video, um, you can actually see some scenes from the auction, from the preview that I was at. And then, um, you know, the haul too, if you want to see the whole haul. Um, I'll put a link at the end of this video and also in the description below. So thank you everyone for watching and um, without further ado, Here's what I sold from the stuff I picked up at the auction uh, back in beginning of June, end of May, something like that. Okay, thank you everyone for watching. See you again soon. I don't know if there's anything else with it. Um, and I picked this up for a dollar. It's not that exciting, but there's some cute um, 
student was this book. Um, it's a Pennsylvania German um, to English dictionary. Um, these on top here are sealed phone me message pads and uh, they are going to go on Amazon. And uh, so I bought this whole lot just because I wanted those and uh, there's some paper and stuff in here that I could use. A whole bunch of older glasses, um, both regular glasses and sunglasses. And um, the sunglasses I think were all non-prescription ones but there's some pretty cool ones. Um, these are pretty funky. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wind up with this whole basket, um, an old American flag that I have no use for. Um, so, I'll, but yeah, then the other stuff in here is like newer plastic organizers and clipboards and things like that. Elephant, he really needs to get cleaned out. He's got, I think they were keeping like potpourri or something in there. Um, but yeah, the some uh, some vintage memo pads, and I actually I think I have a couple of memo pads. I was waiting until I went, wound up with a couple more. And 